Hello everyone, my name is Torun. Once again, welcome to PE Works. Once again, I came with another video, and this video is for ICSC Class 10 Physical Education. In my previous few videos, I have discussed about the questions and answers of the specimen question paper given for your semester 2 examination. Specifically, the questions and answers from football, cricket, and basketball I have discussed. Here in this video, I am going to talk about the answers of the questions from the game badminton. So I'll be discussing the answers of the questions from the other games too in the other videos. So that's why I would request you to keep following my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it for more information about physical education and sports. Anyway, let's move ahead. Okay, badminton, uh, section A. As I said that I need to attempt all the questions from section A. Uh, first question. How many feathers does a shuttlecock have? Options are 8, 24, 16, 20. The answer will be obviously 16. Next question. Uh, where did badminton originate? Options are India, Australia, uh, USA, Australia, Sri Lanka. The answer will be India. Basically the uh, South India. Question number uh, three, which body governs the badminton game internationally? Indian Badminton Federation, Badminton uh, World Federation, ICC, FIFA. The answer will be badminton because ICC is related to cricket, FIFA is related to football and Indian Badminton Federation that is a national body for India. Next question. Uh, in badminton, this is the heat that begins each play. What is it? Fault, late, sharp, and said. Obviously, the answer will be sharp. Next question. What is the length of the badminton court for singles and doubles? That means the length. Uh, options are 6.70 meter, 5.18 meter. 18.04 meter, 13.40 meter. The answer will be 13.40 meter. Now, uh, coming to section B, uh, just uh, look into it very carefully. Attempt any two questions from this section. So, there will be three questions. As you, uh, as you can see, question number 22, question number 23, and question number 24. So out of these three questions, uh, you need to attempt any two. Anyway, I have given the answers of the, all the questions given in this uh, specimen paper. So let's uh, discuss one by one what are the answers of these questions. Okay, the first question, uh, question number 22, the first question. When do the players change the court? Okay, the answer will be the players do not change their respective service courts until they win a point while their side is serving let's say my team is serving uh, until i am not uh, getting a point i cannot change the court okay next question what is dues in badminton match the answer will be in badminton match during general game of 21 points when both players have reached 20 20 point it is termed as dues. Basically, it happens in the individual game as also uh, singles also as well as in doubles. When the teams or the players uh, get 20 and 20 points, then it is dues. Okay. Next question. State any three duties of the umpire in badminton. So, umpires have uh, lots of duties. So, I have described all the duties here then you can select as per the marks given here so you can write accordingly okay the prior to the match uh, an umpire secures the proper number of technical officials and checking the clothing and equipment of the players to ensure that they meet regulations that is very important duty next is on court the umpire will start with a coin flip to determine the server and the receiver and which court each player will play on before starting the time for the warm-up. 
that is another duty now during the match the umpire is in charge of tracking and announcing the score governing the court to ensure uh, continuous play prevent misconduct uh, issues penalties where appropriate next one the umpire has the unique ability to overrule the calls of other on court technical officials that means umpire is the uh, the final authority to give the last command next point the umpire may also step in to cover the duties of the other technical officials if they are absent or unsighted okay so if it is happening that uh, some of the technical officials are missing so at that point umpire can take hold of it next point between games the umpire will call out the winner of games instruct the court to be wiped and time the uh, and time the breaks otherwise known as intervals okay that also and uh, there are some duties after match also the umpire will announce the winning team and deliver the results of the match alongside any incidents to the referee immediately upon the match this conclusion so these are all duties of the umpire so the most important duties you can mention as per the marks given next question explain the term foreign grip in badminton that is very important question uh, because how you can write the answer that is very important okay so what you need to do uh, hold the racket by the head uh, with the edge at right angles to the ground fine be sure that the racket is firmly held at impact check that the v between thumb and forehand points roughly down the top level in line with the frame arm a uh, frame arm hand racket are one long lever next one is index finger is uh, spaced a little apart from the other three each which are curling together around the butt end and the handle next one is hold the racket lower than uh, lower down with only the butt end just protruding that is for reach and power to hit with face of racket turn your wrist as you can see this particular condition has been depicted in this picture so if you read this text properly if you uh, mug up this particular uh, text then you can write the answer properly next question define the term side alley very uh, important question side alley is the uh, side extension of the court by one and a half feet on both sides that is used for doubles play as you can see this in this picture it is very clear this this part the extended part is called side alley fine next question uh, explain the term drive in badminton okay good question a badminton drive is a shot played in middle court that can be seen as an offensive shot okay when performing a drive the shuttle will pass very close to the net and not uh, raise high to okay depending on the type of drive you perform it can have three types of uh, trajectories before crossing the net that is optional you can write or not that is depending on you and what you must have to uh, mention that the drive shots can be divided as follows forehand drive and backhand drive so you can see in this picture uh, the forehand drive how it is being done that has been shown and in the backhand drive also it is shown in how it is being how it is your uh, racket to be hold okay there are some uh, subdivision that you can see uh, forehand drive offensive forehand drive flat forehand drive defensive forehand drive uh, backhand drive offensive uh, backhand drive flat backhand drive uh, defensive backhand drive okay so i think these are not so important but you uh, must mention this one 
this one and this one or and drive and back and drive next question explain the term overhead forearm stroke in badminton the action of hitting a shuttle approaching to the uh, head that means the shuttle what is approaching towards the head that uh, shuttle to be uh, hit with a forehand uh, stroke overhead forehand stroke in this skill swing the arm more fully back that means you need to swing back your hand and bend it more and push the heel and the hand upwards that means hand will be going up and your heel too is up at the ceiling not flat at walls fine check the grip uh, left feet and shoulder forward so that one is sideways to the net Keep the body weight on the back foot at the same time. Bring the racket straight up and drop it down over the shoulder. The arm is bent double, elbow up. The wrist is fully cocked back. That means whenever you are just uh, trying to do this uh, skill, so then it is coming and it will be just bending down. Next one is explain the half smash in badminton. Half smash. A half smash is a sort of variety that you can use effectively in badminton. As the name indicates, a half mass is basically a smash with the half the strength. That means, uh, you know that when the full smash is being done, then the full strength is being used. But in half mass, the half strength will be used. So this uh, sort can be used in random points. Uh, in a rally to confuse the opponent and to make it difficult for them to adjust to the tempo of the rally. So uh, in this case, I would mention that whenever you are approaching that you will be giving a full smash and if you give a, uh, originally a half smash, then the opponent can be uh, confused. So there are some advantages that you can uh, take it for your own uh, that is not required to be written. The advantage of half smash is that you do not need quite a lot of power to hit uh, half smash and hence you will not throw your body weight out of balance while you play the shot. It will be uh, much easier to recover from half smash and get ready for the next shot. Fine. Now coming to the uh, next question, question number 24. Uh, under this uh, question there are uh, four questions. The first one is explain the term rally in badminton. <clears throat> I think this is very uh, common for each and everybody who are studying for badminton. But still, uh, you need to understand how you have to write the answer. Rally in badminton is called exchange of sorts. A coin test will happen in major tournaments to decide which side will serve first. Uh, if you win the rally, you will get the next serve. The server must remember that if the score is an even number, he must serve from the right side of court. On the other hand, he needs to serve from the left side court if the score is an odd number. <coughs> Rally scoring badminton is used instead of ancient scoring system of badminton. That is very important to write. So this is how you need to write the answer of this question. Next question, what do you mean by net kill in badminton? That is very important question. Net kill is one of those offensive shots which is performed by a player nearby the net and in a downwards direction to his opponent's court. As you can see in this picture that uh, particular player is giving a, a net kill shot. That means this uh, particular shuttle will just drop near this particular area. So that it will be very difficult for the opponents to take this shot. So these kinds of shots are basically performed by intermediate and advanced players. Also, you uh, need to keep a point in mind that these are not any kind of smash shot. It is not at all a smash. Fine. Now, next question. Uh, explain any three scoring system in badminton. Okay. Uh, the first one is the match consists of best of three games unless otherwise arranged. Fine. Next one is each game would be won by the player by scoring 21 points first in all badminton matches. Fine. 
next one is in case of 20 20 all the side which gains two points lead first will be the winner of the game so let's say if the points become deuce that means 20 20 then whoever goes two points ahead they will be winning if the score equals at 29 the side wins the 30th point shall be the winner of the game means uh, if the point goes in that way deuce 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 and it reaches up to 29 so in that case whoever uh, gains the 30th point will be the winner the side that wins the rally gets the point that means whoever uh, wins this rally they will be getting the point the side that wins the game uh, shall solve first in the next game that is also important that means uh, let's say first game i have won that means in the next game i will be starting the service next question uh, mention any three duties of service judge in badminton uh, service judge is responsible for judging the server delivers a correct serve let's say uh, i am serving so whether i am serving in a proper way as per the rules and regulation that need to be uh, taken care of by the service judge if the server does not deliver a correct serve the service judge calls fault loudly and uses the appro approved hand signals and indicate the type of infringement so this is actually a two marks question uh, this is given as a three marks question basically this kind of question comes as two marks fine so as you can see that uh, this is the sitting position of the posture of the uh, service judge and he will be observing the services of the teams okay fine so this is all about the uh, answers of the questions uh, from badminton what has been given for your specimen paper for semester two so this is how i'll be coming with the other uh, games also means the answers of the other games also so i would request you once again to keep following my channel i'll be preparing questions and answer set for your final examinations that will be very much helpful for your examination so again i'm telling you keep following my channel so that you can get update of these videos and please share with your friends also so that they also get benefit of these videos thank you so much for watching this video